As a planetary neighbor of the Earth, Mars has repeatedly become the focus of astronomical interest. But despite all colonization efforts of the Red Planet, the celestial body, covered by iron oxide dust, still poses enormous riddles. Among them is the regular appearance of a gigantic water ice cloud, which assumes imposing dimensions within a very short time, only to disappear again. After experts had racked their brains over the phenomenon for a long time, this cosmic mystery was finally solved solved recently. Do you want to know which exciting backgrounds really underlie this spectacle, and which Martian mysteries still have to be deciphered in the future? Then be sure to watch today's video all the way to the end. But before we get started, remember to leave us a like and a subscription to stay up to date from now on. Tell us now in the comments what fascinates you most about Mars. The Cloud Puzzle it is December 25th, 2003, when ESA's Mars Express probe reaches our red neighboring planet. The overall objectives of the mission included the complete mapping of the Martian surface, the investigation of the atmosphere, and the exploration of the surface material that lies dormant at a depth of up to six feet. Originally, the primary mission was designed to last one Martian year, or about 23 Earth months. However, due to the groundbreaking findings of the probe, the undertaking has already been extended several times and is currently still in full swing. Mars Express not only mapped large parts of the planet's surface, but also detected large amounts of water ice, methane traces in the atmosphere, and liquid water under the surface near the South Pole. However, this was far from the only startling discovery to be revealed during the Mars Express mission. As already mentioned at the beginning, the complex technical equipment also came across a gigantic cloud, which caused a lot of guesswork among the experts for a long time. As soon as spring breaks in the south of Mars, the structure appears near the 12-mile-high volcano Arcea Mons. Consisting of water ice, the cloud then rapidly expands over hundreds of miles, before disappearing from the scene again within a few hours. Oddly enough, Arcea Mons is the only place on the red planet at low latitudes that is graced by clouds at this time of year unconventional approach. That the elongated veil structure remained a cosmic mystery for years was primarily because the changing dynamics of the atmosphere and the constraints of the spacecraft's orbits made holistic observation impossible. So to find how and why the cloud forms, other, sometimes unconventional approaches had to be taken. A team of experts from the University of the Basque Country in Bilbao, for example, decided to use the visual monitoring camera from Mars Express to track down the phenomenon as part of a detailed long-term study. Originally, however, this instrument was not designed for such a purpose at all. Dubbed the Mars Webcam, in reference to its low resolution, VMC was actually only intended to document the decoupling between Mars Express and the lander Beagle 2. After this task was completed in 2003, the camera was initially shut down. Later, the component was reactivated, not for scientific research, however, but to capture Mars images for public relations. On the Trail of the Secret the unexpected scientific use of VMC ultimately occurred because the camera has a gratifyingly wide field of view. Since this is essential for studying the cloud phenomenon in its entirety and at different times of day, the low resolution was easily tolerated. Specifically, the team of experts supplemented the VMC observations with information provided by the Mars Express components Omega and HRSC. These are, on the one hand, a measuring instrument for investigating the mineral composition of the Martian surface, and on the other hand, a high-resolution stereo camera. Combined with the data collected by other spacecraft, such as the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Viking 2, the researchers finally found out what was really behind the atypical cloud. The Solution to the Riddle during the study, it became apparent that the structure is nearly 1,250 miles long and about 100 miles wide during its greatest extent. With this in mind, it's nothing less than the largest orographic cloud ever documented on the Red Planet. 
In this context, orographic means that the cloud embodies the result of wind currents forced upward by topographic features, such as volcanoes or mountains. In the case of the giant cloud, Arzia Mons acts as a natural disturbance that influences the local atmosphere and paves the way for the cloud's formation. While the moist air is forced up the sides of the volcano, it begins to condense in higher, significantly cooler areas. In this regard, the researchers found that the structure is subject to a dynamic daily cycle that lasts for several months. Before the sun rises in the corresponding region of Mars, the structure begins to grow on the western flank of the volcano, extending westward for two and a half hours. Meanwhile, at an altitude of 27 miles, the cloud exhibits a rapid growth rate of more than 360 miles per hour. It then detaches from its original location and is carried even farther west by winds. As soon as the sun rises above the surface of Mars and air temperatures increase, the cloud begins to evaporate in the late morning. Basically, scientists suspect that no other climate system in the solar system is as similar to our home planet as Mars. And although orographic clouds also occur occur on Earth, they do not reach the enormous dimensions and dynamic character of the Martian spectacles here. Strange Martian Craters While the mystery of the giant cloud has been solved, other Martian discoveries are still waiting to be deciphered. Currently, researchers are confronted with a new mystery on the Red Planet, namely, strangely layered deposits traced at large craters in the Arabia Terra region. The problem? In terms of their positions, occurrences, and shapes, the layers simply don't match the water and wind deposits we know from our planetary neighbor. That Arabia Terra once resembled a natural furnace has been known for some time. Numerous calderas and ash layers hundreds of meters thick suggest that the rutted area may even have once hosted supervolcanoes. No less exciting, new evidence suggests that the edge of the plateau was inundated by a 820-foot-high mega tsunami 3.4 billion years ago. Regarding the crater deposits, the mystery is that the sediments lie mainly on the south sides of the impact sites, in stark contrast to those deposits that were blown up by the wind. In addition to the horizontal sedimentary layers, there are also spoke-like sedimentary layers that extend outward in straight paths. What the background of the strange deposition patterns is, is still completely unclear. However, researchers have been able to prove a kind of pattern here. The atypical deposits are only in craters, which have a diameter of under 2,000 feet. Initial explanations point to the escape of saline groundwater, or sublimation, the transition process of a substance from solid to gas without prior liquefaction. Active Volcanism The Mars era of ash and lava spewing formations is long over. This is at least the common doctrine, but in the course of new findings, it's becoming more and more questionable. The theory that under the surface of the planet, active volcanism still exists will be researched in the context of the analysis of Mars quakes. Accordingly, the strikingly low frequency of the tremors suggests that their origin could lie in glowing hot magma chambers. In addition, the Cerberus Fosse Rift System, where the unusual Mars quakes are concentrated, has long been considered a hot candidate when it comes to the question of a still active volcanic region on the Red Planet, a thesis that is also supported by the 50,000-year-old, and thus from a geological point of view, young, dark deposit that have been detected in the region. Unlike most of the other quakes recorded by the InSight spacecraft since the beginning of 2019, the slower but stronger tremors originate in the lower part of the Martian crust. The low frequency here suggests that the seismic waves are being slowed by more elastic, softer rock. According to the experts, the nature of the Cerberus Fosse spectacles would presuppose a hot area of origin. In other words, this means, deep below the region must lie dormant, a zone in which the crustal rock is hot and possibly even partially molten. Accordingly, the collected data show that the Martian volcanism is probably much more alive than previously assumed. Thus, it's conceivable that our planetary neighbor is characterized exactly like the Earth by tectonic processes, which reach far beyond the simple cooling of the interior. 
But also in this case, it holds true. We have yet to discover what the corresponding tectonics look like and which characteristics are inherent to it. And now we want your opinion. What do you think about the background of the giant cloud and the theory of active Mars volcanism? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. Also, feel free to leave us a like and a subscription so you'll never miss another one of our posts. Would you like to see more exciting videos on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have linked here in the credits for you. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.